Hi, okay, just introducing the 4 pass barcode printer. Uh, barcode printing has always been an issue because over the years uh, we could only get expensive printers, uh, expensive meaning in RAND terms, South African RAND, uh, three, four thousand RAND and up, and you were limited to what is available um, and so forth. So obviously 4 pass decided to uh, grab the market or the opportunity and then decide that we will be able to uh, bring in a printer that is affordable for everybody to use because it's such a great function or feature to have in your part of your 4 pass system to be able to print your own barcode labels many many uses available for it all right so let's look at the physical printer um, it's a 60 millimeter printer meaning that it's uh, the width of the label maximum width that you can put into the printer or use it for is 60 millimeters um, and obviously you can use it uh, in lengthwise for many many other lengths as well in other words shelf talkers is typically measured as 30 by 90 now meaning 30 mil high and 90 mil long in other words what you'll do is you'll just slot it into the back of the printer through the slot which i'll show you now and be able to feed it from the back and you'll still be able to print your shelf talkers the yellow labels that you'll put on your shelves with an arrow up um, and so functionality wise it it will cater for 99 percent of your demands uh, it won't do everything but you've got to weigh it up the price cost versus the functionality in terms of what you need all right so let's look at a typical example of what we would use the printer for um, on the screen now and on the video you can see obviously there's a, a label that we printed a barcode label now the label says your company name, your telephone number, the item name of the product, in other words, Coke one liter, uh, the barcode itself, and obviously the price. Um, so it's a price label that you can put on the physical product and you can put it on many different types of products. For instance, you might be, you might be packaging uh, fresh fruit uh, in a certain way that you're not uh, selling by weight, but by uh, a packet or a bundle or a... Uh, a monthly uh, weight item or a monthly item I mean um, or you can do um, I, mean, I mean there's just a myriad of possibilities that you could use the barcode label for um, you might sell it out to other companies and you might want to label it for them uh, obviously you can build it into four pods but you could also print your own labels uh, if you're supplying some uh, somebody or something you might even supply your own stores and you want to uh, put a label onto those products those are all the possibilities that you would use a barcode uh, label printer for. All right, so let's look at the actual design. Um, on the screen, you can see a design of the label that's done in Label Shop, which is part and parcel of your barcode printer that you buy um, from 4 -Pos. You can design the label to say company name, the telephone number, the name, first line of the name uh, that you want centered, the second line, the barcode itself and then the price now those it looks like it's funny uh, it's not funny it's just the way that 4 uh, interprets those uh, descriptions to substitute it with obviously the real values from the database so when you print from 4 you'll obviously then say, just say print and it will substitute those names and fields uh, with the correct values from your database all right so let's carry on with the interactive video okay so this is label shop or the label shop uh, program as I said, it's part and parcel of 4 pass. Obviously, you can go and move your, your items across uh, any which way you want to. Uh, specify where you want your price to be on. Uh, this one, you'll see, it's just got an R for RAND in front of it. Obviously, if you're in Zimbabwe or any other country for that matter, you'll obviously re uh, replace it with your Zim dollar or Quacha or whatever the case may be. Um, and then what you would do from this, once you've done the design, you'll basically click on file. You'll see this label, which is also part on parcel of your 4 uh, flash drive that you get with the product. Uh, you'll be able to then export it. You'll see there's a special export. It says export printer command. And you then export it to whatever name you want. It comes out as a PRN. So I did this earlier, and that's my smart label, 40 by um, 40 by 39 or sorry 40 by 29 and I just put it on the, the date so let me just do the name properly sorry that should be 40 by uh, come on uh, 29 and this is the 5th of uh, 
sorry, the 10th of May that I'm doing the video on. And I'll just save that. All right, so once that's saved, you'll then jump into your Forbos back office program. And in your Forbos back office program, I'm going to go to shelf and barcode printing. And I'm going to create a, a barcode. In other words, I want to create a new barcode now. And I'll just say new and give it a name. So I'm not going to do any design work on here. You're obviously going to import that file. So I'm just saving it and I'm calling it for pause arguments like 1005. And you can have, as you can see, as many labels as you want to. All right. So there's my label done now as a stock barcode, not a shelf talker. You'll obviously have to jump between the two options. And I'm clicking on it and then saying import and i will have to then go and specify where my file is that i saved all right and there's my file that i want in there so i'm just going to uh, double click on it and it says file has been imported successfully uh, you click ok and now i can go exit out of there and i can immediately jump to my printing of my uh, barcode so i click on shelf and barcode printing again not the GRV file, that's when you do a GRV, I don't want that. Normal barcode, specify your printer, and in this case it's called the SPRT, the 4 post printer loads the driver as SPRT. It then automatically selects its other barcode printer, which is correct. And now again, I'm under stock barcode, it's very important there. And I want to select my 4 post label that I've just created in uh, from the system now. Simply click next and then I can go and specify and say, yes, I want a label for uh, my six pack uh, Cokes or also for the single uh, one of those, etc, etc. Or maybe one in the sprites, uh, whatever the case may be. Select print. Do you want to print it for the default? Yes, thank you very much. Three products selected. Do you wish to print? And yes. And it then prints my three labels as you can hear in the background. And that's as simple as it is. Enjoy.